Sharks have been bad. Right Drown in three inches. What are you sharks are catching about? ten feet of water. You don't need to yeah. catch in three feet of water. So I've apparently interrupted a shark conversation. Oh, we're swimming in the Marriott, not the Marriott, the uh, Puerto Rico What are your thoughts on sharks, John? I love sharks. Love them? You swim with them a lot, right? Yeah, I enjoy sharks. All right. What's your opinion on sharks? Love sharks. Love them? Sharks made super delicious. Okay, that's not going on YouTube. How about you? I'm freaking terrified of them. Terrified of the sharks? I freaking hate them. I hear you. Turn the camera on yourself. What about you? What do you think? Sharks. I'm never on camera. That's the same. Uh, publicity shy. Publicity shy. Ew. <laughs> what about you, Captain? What do you think of sharks? I love sharks. I've swam with them a lot. They're my favorite. Well, it's illegal. All right, John, so here we are. We're sailing in the middle of the Atlantic. Now, how did you wind up being on this vessel? Yeah. I've been interested in sailing for a long time. Never had the opportunity to, to go to sea. Uh -huh. So during the pandemic, I set about learning the theory and getting certified. I think during that time also, I came across your channel. Mm -hmm. and found that it was one of the more candid channels so give me a really clear idea on boat selection and criteria and what it's like where to buy uh, what it's like living aboard and then we got in touch and we through discord and i've been pestering you for a long time about uh, going <laughs> on a trip one came up uh, at the beginning of May that had to be cancelled and then you popped this opportunity and I said, yeah. yeah. It was, uh, I met a guy from the internet and I'm going sailing for 15 days with total strangers. Yeah? Yeah, I'm on for that. And so for you, doing all that theory and you know those classes and stuff, how has it compared to the realities of being out here on the open ocean? Uh, do you feel like there was a big gap, a steep learning curve once you got on the boat and out here, or...? Well, there's the idea of sailing and the theory of sailing. It actually doesn't bear a lot of resemblance. This is a, this is a complementary skill set. Yeah. Um, so it's very hands-on. Uh, it requires a lot of coordination and collaboration. Um, closed living spaces. Uh, on the high seas where everything is unpredictable, a lot of moving parts, things go wrong. Yeah. Um, and then you have sunsets, sunsets like this. Yeah. And do you, do you feel on this trip that you've learned a lot? Do you think you're going to go back with a completely different perspective on yeah, full-time yeah. sailing? Uh, perspective hasn't changed. No. But I've learned an enormous amount. Enormous amount. So you, now, for you, if somebody was going to come up to you and have never sailed a day in their life and they were selling you on the romantic idea of, I want to buy a sailboat and sail the oceans, would you recommend them going on a trip first before they sold it all to go and do that? Because it is so different? Yeah, or? you have to spend significant time on the sea before you can decide you want to live on the sea. Yeah. Um, Going on a trip like this, like a delivery, that's not a that's not a, a typical experience because it's it's work and it's uh, you have a timetable. Um, well, go on a charter or go live by the sea, but spend some time on the sea before, like weeks before you want to change your life. And then for you, what are some of the more significant challenges, or have you faced any significant challenges since you've been on the boat? Like, was there anything that really surprised you that was like, wow, this is much harder than I thought, or this is easier, or? No, I haven't, I haven't been surprised. No? I think I've been surprised by the weather, but the experience by living on a boat and managing a boat and sailing a boat, no, not really. It's exactly what I had in mind, it's what I wanted. Um, nothing has nothing has been a surprise. And I, so, knew, I knew that I, I knew that most particularly of this age, 
would require maintenance, things go wrong, things that get fixed. So there's a lot of hands-on uh, hands skills required to live in a boat, like any boat really, but the older they get, the, the more work they require. So would you come on another delivery? Not immediately, but, <laughs> def but definitely, yeah. A little wore out, huh? No, I look no, not at all. I mean, I have a life to get on with. Yeah, yeah. Uh, definitely, again, this year, if I can, I'd love to do maybe two deliveries a year. Nice, nice. Spend more time on the sea. I love it. Absolutely love it. Right. And so, and are you excited to hurry up? Are you excited for this trip to be over and get down to the Caribbean lands? Uh, I mean, it'd be nice to be down there. Are you anxious to get to land? No. No, you're just enjoying... I, I actually thought I would be more happy getting to Bermuda uh -huh. than stepping on land, but it didn't really seem that way. Gotcha. Just like I thought I'd be more eerie being out in the middle of the ocean. It's just... I don't know. So the Bermuda Triangle didn't freak you out, huh? No. We didn't see any aliens. We saw a whale. We did see a whale. Some dolphins, flying fish. And bioluminescence. Yeah. True, right. true. It's still there. Anything could happen. So what would uh, either of your biggest recommendations be for new sailors? What do you think the first thing they or you know, some of the first things that they should be doing if they're thinking about getting into this kind of lifestyle? Get on as many sailboats as possible and go sail. And what do you guys think of size? Now, you're a tall gentleman and you're 6'5". You have a 2002 Beneteau Oceanus 473. <laughs> so, what are your thoughts on size? Do you think now, after being on this boat for a while, that a person is better off just getting a larger boat as first and being able to grow into it versus out of it? Because there's a lot of people yeah. on the internet that think you should run out and buy a 32-foot sailboat with you, the wife, two dogs, and a cat, and you'll be totally comfortable. But you have a very big boat here. What do you What do you think on those things? I would go as big as you can afford. Big as you can afford. And you can handle. Yeah. yeah. Big, big as you can handle. I mean, this was the smallest boat I could fit on. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad I got it. I'm glad I didn't find a forty foot that guy I could fit on. It's yeah. Too small. Yeah, because they they get smaller as you're the on them. The cockpit. You know, we've got five guys here. We haven't ran into each other once. No. Have you ever considered buying a catamaran? Briefly. Yeah? Yeah, just because of the size factor. But that didn't, that didn't last long. It wasn't, to me, it's not really sailing. I know it's, it's, I guess technically it is sailing, but it's not traditional. Yeah. I think you're opening a kind of works there in the comments well, section. No, I know. That's why I'm trying not to. I'm not slamming catamarans. Yeah. I think they're awesome. It's just not for me. I wanted to try traditional type sailing. Maybe I will get a catamaran. I don't know. But, uh, you can come through, John. Yeah, I was. I come you know, through. Had the grandiose idea say? of crossing oh, ocean. Yeah. And this is an ocean crossing vessel. Do you consider yourself a technical sailor yeah. or an instinct sailor? Um, instinct, everything. Yeah. That brings up a good point. So there's the set it and forget it sailors with the sails. Do you find you're a fidgety sailor? Do you like adjusting the sails constantly? I do you... now just because I'm learning. Yeah. You know, just tweaking them to see how the wind, you know, how to sail, or the sail fits the wind, or the wind fits the sail. Mm -hmm. So like when I'm on watch by myself, I'm constantly tweaking stuff just to see how. See what it does. Plus I'm playing on being a solo sailor, so I gotta get used to doing it by myself. And so John, what about you in sailboat size? Now there's five of us on here, it's a big, big boat. Okay, I, I think my speed point is 42. 42. 41, 42. And I used to be a fan of catamarans as well, but I, I, I love mono. I really love mono. One thing I did learn that I did not expect or even think about be able, being able to fit in the compartments to fix them. So, if I would have got a smaller boat, I would have been in trouble for me. Now, when it comes to cost-wise, 
after you purchase the boat, have you been surprised at the amount of money it actually takes to get a boat ready to do these big, big trips and the kind of money you'll spend when you do encounter problems on these off the wall tropical islands where things are notoriously incredibly expensive? Have you been surprised by the amount of money that you've spent since getting the boat? No, we've talked about that. I'm pretty prepared for that. Tried to prepare, yeah. yeah. Told you, it's I coming. Still, I still haven't spent as much as I thought I would, so. Yeah. But I'm sure that's coming. Well, tips are always appreciated for uh, the delivery captain. Yeah, so don't don't breathe underwater. And crew. And crew. And so you've been sailing now for 12 days full time. And you've studied the manuals, you've got your hands dirty in the engine and the electrics. How important are those skills and abilities for somebody who wants to live, live, uh, live this lifestyle? Yeah, it's definitely important, but it's still basic. Do we need to, do we need to it's basic stuff. Do we need to study it's diesel engines? Maybe diesel. It would help, but you don't need to know diesel engines in and out. Yeah. It's just basic oil changes. And I don't know. I, I don't know. Figuring out stuff helps if you have a good mind mindset for that. You can trace things with problems. You know, basic plumbing. It's just really basic tools. It's not that difficult. You can always hire someone to do it. A lot of dark, small spaces out of work. So you can get it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's the well. That one was the most difficult so far. And I don't think there's really any other ones that would be a problem.